pulling this valve today, it's the Apex XS 2025mm. So this valve was designed with the input of New Zealand farmers. We took on board several key aspects uh, from advice that they've given us on how to build a perfect trough valve on the farm. One of those aspects is a massive flow rate. So this trough valve, an arm valve with a plunger, is the highest flow rate in the market. It'll do up to 500 litres a minute. This is a full one inch valve. The other aspect is when you get on the farm you've sometimes got the wrong size. So you've got a 25mm when it's a 20mm trough or you've got a 20mm when it's meant to be a 25 The one we've installed today was a 25 So this blue bush here which is bushed down to your 20mm we simply removed and you've got the 25mm there to be installed. That 20mm has an o-ring inside it which seals on that face there so there's no requirement for thread tape between the two bushes and that's extra strong so it will take this, the installation. The other key aspect was that when you're going past a trough on the farm and you've got an issue with your valve you need to be able to service it there and then and what they came back to us and said, the farmers, was that you need to be able to service this valve without tools. So traditionally you have to straighten the cotter pin to take the arm out In this valve you don't. You simply unscrew the bottom of the cap with your hand and there is your washer which the sleeve sits down on top sealing off the valve and that can be replaced and also to re-establish the o-ring integrity inside the valve you can simply lift the arm and take that out so now that's the entire guts of the valve out and that can be fully serviced I'm going to show you shortly how to service that valve in the trough with the water flowing through it the third feature which is what makes this valve very unique, is the cam lock fitting at the bottom. So what that allows you to do is shut off the valve with the pin at the top. Now you've got the ability to connect a cam lock to it, which I'll show you how to do shortly, and you've got a water source anywhere on the farm. So you can use it for washing down your quad, washing down your motorbike, you can brake feed, which we're going to show you that situation shortly, or in drier areas you can use it for firefighting. Let's have a look at it in the trough. but we can take it apart without using any pliers. So now I've taken the bottom of the valve out. That there is your flow enhancing ring which needs to go back in the correct way up that it came out and that's the washer that may need servicing on the valve. The second part of the service is to take the plunger out and check the o-ring. So if you lift the arm up and put your finger in the middle of the plunger, it simply slides out. So now you've got the valve taken to pieces and you can service the o-ring by replacing it, which is available in the excess service kit. And you can also replace the washer of the valve. Putting it back together is quite simple. If you line up the groove of the plunger in line with the arm and lift that arm up again and push it up inside the valve, It'll grab it and sit there quite comfortably. You screw the cap back on, you may get a little bit wet, but it's easier than going back down to the pump shed. And you can see the flow rate increase once the cap goes on and the enhancing ring pushes the water back through the valve. So now that valve's been fully serviced without having to worry about turning off your pump. Right, so now I'm going to show you the cam lock fitting on the excess valve. I've shut the valve off by putting that pin in. So essentially when you lift the arm up, it shuts the valve off, like that. And then you can push the pin in, now that valve's shut off. While it's shut off, you can collect, connect your cam lock. Now you've got an independent water source. So if I pull that pin out and turn the valve back on, I've got a full flow hose. So the uses for this around the farm, you can use it for washing down your gear. You can use it for spilling, filling spray tanks on the back of your quarter or on your tractor. And in our drier areas, you can also use it for firefighting. What I also, a good, for this flexi hose coming out of the trough, you can connect to 
a brake feeding trough. So if you're brake feeding into a different paddock and you need a trough in that paddock for the cows, you can connect with your anchor fitting into a rigid line as far as you like across the paddock. And in this particular trough we've got an extra flow top entry full flow diaphragm valve. So now if I turn that extra excess back on again, you can see we can pull that trough quickly. So this is the Camelot kit that connects to our Apex XS valve. The kit comes with a 3 meter piece of hose. It also comes with three anchor fittings including the, the Camelot connection. So in the box you've got your three fittings. The right angled fitting is the one that connects with the end of the hose. Screw that on nice and tight. So now you've got your right angle fitting which screws into your cam lock. Now we've made that a right angle fitting so that slips in nicely underneath the excess valve to clip on for your water source. We've included the flexible hose just three meters so you can bring the hose out of the trough once you've connected the cam lock to your valve. We haven't used rigid lines so there's not stress and strain on the valve when you connect to it. So at the other end of the flexi hose you've got a connection, 15 millimeter anchor fitting. And now that's screwed on there nice and tight, you've got a connection to take off two other fittings.